Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Captain Plugins in Reaper. Now before we get started, we should talk about why I'm showing you these plugins, made by another company that are not free. As you know, Reaper doesn't come with any stock sounds, so if you want to make electronic music, you're going to have to rely on some third-party instruments. And I showed you a bunch in this section right here on the Reaper Video homepage that are 100% free. But there are going to be times when there's just not enough for your needs. And we all know there's a few companies that make extensive libraries that also work incredibly well with Reaper. And those are great if you have those needs and that kind of money in your budget. But I wanted to find something somewhere in between. Something affordable, but also fairly extensive musically. And also unique, and it's not only great for making electronic music, but it helps us create the music and teaches us chords along the way. And that's where Captain Plugins comes in. It works with Windows or Mac. It'll help us write our own chord progressions, melodies, drum parts, and even bass lines while allowing us to export all of it right into Reaper, where we can finish our productions using all the great features in Reaper. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna start with an empty project. Let's create a new track. Let's name it Captain Chords. And then we'll add on the track effects, the Captain Chords plugin. I already created a folder down here with all the Captain plugins in it to make it easier. We'll start with Captain Chords, which opens up like this. And we can choose the key we want to work in. But I'm going to keep it simple and change it to C major. But we can see up here, we can always change it later. And over here, we see the chords that are in the key of C major. And they'll play just by pressing the button. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and then B. These are all the chords in the key of C major. And right down here, we can choose the order of the chords we want to play. And we can choose them manually. Let's start with a C major. And let's hear that. And let's add a chord progression right here. Let's choose an E minor, then an F, and then a G. And we can do this completely randomly until we like the way it sounds. Now we've created our first chord progression. So we could do this manually, or we could choose from the patterns over here, like this. We'll click over here to choose from all these patterns. Let's try this one. In addition to choosing the chord progression, we can change the voicings or inversions of each chord. Let's go back to this one, make it C major. We can choose the inversions over here. One with the octaves, make it a triad. First inversion, second inversion. We could adjust the complexity over here. We could add more notes. Or less notes. Which adds the lower octave, which changes the inversion. This way the E, or the upper third, is above the root, with the fifth below the root. So let's make that our first chord. 
And we'll change the second one to be a G, which is the fifth note in the scale. Let's make that with the lower octave, a default triad, which sounds like this. For the third chord, let's go to the sixth or the sixth minor, getting the lower octave. And for the last one, we'll make it to four F major. and add in the lower octave. So now it sounds like this. It's a pretty simple and standard chord progression, but using the buttons over here, we can make them sound more complex. Let's change the second one to these different options. I think I liked this one, the sus4 chord. Then for the third chord, A minor, let's add in the seventh, right here. And if you don't know what these chords are, don't worry about it. What's nice about this is we can just click these buttons and then randomly find the chords we like and maybe learn along the way. And for the last chord, let's add in a major seventh. And keep in mind, we can still add or remove notes manually. Just double click to add them, or double click again to remove them. And over here, we could just the timing of the progression. Right now it's changing each measure, but we could change it right here. That's more of an upbeat. And we could choose all the options in here. Let's put it back to one measure. Now that just adjusts where the chords change, but we could also change the rhythm without adjusting the chord changes right over here. Right now it's changing based on the chord, but we could change it to every offbeat, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, or something more complex. We can adjust the length of the notes using the space knob. Let's keep it simple and put it back to each chord change. And we could also change the sound. Defaults to piano strings. We could choose it from here or from here. Choosing guitar keys, leads, pads, plucks, strings, and voice. Let's put it back to the default. And we could also use sounds that are not a part of Captain Plugins. Right over here, 
Just change the plugin and it'll use that sound instead. But let's keep it simple and use a Captain Plugins sounds. And down over here, we can add reverb, delay, and even adjust our filter. Now the chords we set up are just considered the verse. We could also set up different chords for the pre-chorus, chorus, and drop, but using this in Reaper, we don't have to do it that way. We could just use this one and drag the MIDI into our track along the way. Move this out of the way, go right here and drag this, and just drop it right on the track. So now we could switch the plugin to MIDI in. Now it's going to ignore what we did over here and just play our MIDI. So now we can edit just like any other MIDI in Reaper. Double click to open up the editor. And we can edit our MIDI right in here. Just like we performed it in Reaper. But let's add a drum part. Let's add another track. We'll name it Captain Beat. And we'll go to the track effects on here. And this time we'll choose the Captain Beat plugin. It opens up and looks like this, or you can create beats right in this plugin. If we hit play, it plays this beat. But we could change our pattern right here. We'll click it and choose patterns from in here. I'm going to choose this one right here. I don't really need this fill. So let's turn the fill off right here. And then we just get the beat. And we could also change the drum kit. Same thing we choose in here. But let's put it back to the default. And we could also change drum by drum. Here's our kick. We could change that, the sample right here. We'll bring in our own sample right here. I want to change this beat a bit. And we could do that just by double clicking in this area. Let's add a snare. Let's make the clap only play on the four. So we double click to delete these. Let's add another one right here. Let's also delete these toms and this one. Let's change our snare sound. Let's use that one. Let's change the clap to this one. But instead of working with verse, pre chorus, and chorus, I'm just going to drop this in into Reaper. And with the drums, we could do it a few different ways. We could export just our MIDI, the master audio, 
the individual MIDI or the individual audio, which is my preference. So I'm going to grab the kick and just drag this to a new track down here. Now we just have our kick. Let's make this smaller. Let's make this a folder. So all our drums are going to feed into this track. And we'll do the same thing for our snare. Drag this in to here. Our clap. Drag this in right here. Our closed hat. The open hat. And then finally, the crash. Drag this in. And now we could turn this off right here. So it's not going to play audio through this plugin when it's closed. So now we're just hearing these drums over here. But the individual drums can be adjusted separately. We can compress or EQ them pan them to different places, and just treat them like individual tracks, which they now are. Now let's add a bass part. Make a new track. We'll name this Captain Deep for bass. Go to the plugin on this track, and we'll choose Captain Deep. Double click it, and that opens up this plugin, where it asks us to connect this plugin to the Captain chords. This way, our chords line up for our bass part. And we can see automatically it creates a bass part based on those chords. So we play it. So we already have a bass part, but we can adjust it by adjusting our shape, follow the chords, our rhythm. Let's choose this to on every beat. Let's bring it down an octave. Change the sound. Let's change it to this one right here. Let's try opposite movement. Don't like that. Let's keep it here. Let's try half notes, quarter notes. Eighth notes. Let's try a more interesting rhythm. Notice it gives us lots of different ideas we probably wouldn't have thought of ourselves. Let's try this one. Now I really like this part, but I want to change one of the notes over here. And we can't do that in the plugin. Doesn't let us. But luckily, we could do it in Reaper. Just drag this part right in here. 
switch the plugin to play MIDI in. And now we can adjust our part in the MIDI editor. Let's shorten all the notes. And let's add a passing note over here. To keep it in key, let's turn on key snap for C major. Let's drag it up so it stays in key. Let's hear that. That's better. Let's do the same over here. Drawing a note. And just like that, we have a bass part or a bass line. And finally, let's add one more track. And we'll name this Captain Melody. And for this, we'll choose the plugin Captain Melody right here, which again opens up and we can connect it to the chords. So you can see our chords right here that can automatically adjust to the chords we're using in our song. We can start off by manually adding some notes and a lock to the key. Double click. Let's make it shorter as a two bar phrase. I don't really like that, but we could choose this button right here to create a random melody. Hit plus over here, hit this button, and it randomizes our melody based on the parameters up here. Put our steps and leap down here, and it just creates one note as our melody. And let's adjust our rhythm, the density, how many notes it's going to play. Let's go with that, go to our shape, add some steps or how wide the melody is going to be from top to bottom. Just the leap or how far it can move in each step. And then hit this button to randomize it each time till we find something a bit close. Let's change the sound. Let's say that's pretty close. We can still adjust it in Reaper. Let's drag the melody from here to here. Let's close this by setting it to MIDI in. Now it's just going to play from here. Let's duplicate it and glue it. Open it up in the MIDI editor. And now we're still locked in our key snap to this key. Now we can just tweak the melody until it's perfect.
go with that. It's pretty good for now. But we started off with a random melody and just adjusted it along the way to make it unique for us. But one thing we could say about this, there's no way I would have played or recorded or created this song without these plugins. Just randomizing these parts and inspiring me to create new ones. So that's pretty much it. That's the Captain Plugins in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bunny and Kitty being best friends. Mm -hmm.